<laughs> Just went on a mission for my glasses and forgot all about where I was going. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to How To Be Fancy. I'm Heather and today I've got a little hair tutorial for you. Now I just finished doing this 1970s inspired makeup look which should already be up so you can definitely check that out down below in the description box. I'll leave a link just for you. Um, and I thought I would do hair to kind of go along with that. And this is going to be a pretty fast and easy thing. Once you've kind of got the curls in your hair, um, all you'll need to do is brush this out and then I'm going to show you a quick trick for if your curls aren't going just as you want them to. In the 1970s, you wouldn't particularly have curled your hair unless you were maybe going out to a disco or something like that. A lot of women did kind of a throwback to the 1930s and 40s with their hair as well as their makeup. So there was this kind of soft, frizzy glam that happened. I um, think Studio 54, all of those really incredible New York nightclubs of the 1970s, the discos, etc., etc. Um, so what I've done is I have curled my hair all around in about one inch curl with my curling iron but the thing that I've done a little bit different is I have curled um, from the center out so all of these curls curl under um, starting with a middle part versus what I would normally do which would be a side part so I'm gonna take all of this out it's all nice and cool you could sleep in this overnight if you wanted um, extra hold in your curls I'm just gonna take my brush and start brushing through all of this fluffiness Now, if you wanted something like this to look a little bit more 1930s, 40s, you would really brush this through and get a very sculpted look. Um, but for this, I'm kind of trying to keep as much poof as I can. I'm um, not particularly up here at the crown, but around this bottom kind of mid length. There we go. So we've almost gotten to that 80s hair, but we're not quite there um, as far as like the bangs and that real big kind of punk style. This is definitely more of a retro glam style. You could do something like a Farrah Fawcett flip where you kind of work all of this hair to where it's flipping out at the edges, but still kind of has a lot of that volume like so. Um, you could do like a, a Donna Summer, like really flat top with this like super, super frizzy. Um, just whatever you want to do with this look. I think it's a lot of fun. I think a lot of people um, are afraid of these looks, but to me, they're just a lot of fun. There we go. There's your little Farah. So once it kind of starts working the way that you want it, um, I like to start spraying it because I'll lose it if I don't spray it. <laughs> this always reminds me of like Clairol hair. Do you guys know the like the front of like the cheapy box of Clairol hair color? I feel like that lady always has some sort of 1970s fantastic hairdo. Someone like Mary Tyler Moore would have had a much more simple hairstyle, um, whereas someone like Betty White, um, her character on Mary Tyler Moore, her hair was a very much the fluffy 70s do. So here's the look with just soft curls around the face, the center part, um, and just as much volume as you can keep in the hair in the hair while it still looks very natural. Now, here's a little trick that I learned from my favorite gal pal. Rhoda. Did anyone watch Rhoda? She was one of my favorite people. I loved her so much. Valerie Harper is still one of my favorites. Of course, Mary Tyler Moore as well. Um, definitely icons for me of the 1970s. I don't have a bobby pin with me, but my girl Rhoda would have pulled her hair back, leaving kind of this little swoopy S. Like a so. you actually could leave it like that but what she always did is take a little hair scarf it's all about these little wingy bits and give yourself this cutest little casual everyday 
look. I love this look on her. I always thought she was so cute in this. Sally Field also wore her hair like this a lot and again, another adorable icon for me. So I don't want to lose all that volume so I'm just trying to pull out a little bit here. You can pull out some pieces around the ears if you'd like. Kind of soften that up a little bit. And you have an adorable little like four minute hairstyle. One of my favorite new things for spring because in the rain, this comes in handy. So throw on your aviators with this look, turn on a little bit of Olivia Newton-John and have a great day. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. Just let you know anytime I put out a new video. If you need more How To Be Fancy, you can find me on Instagram, Snapchat, all the places. I'm How To Be Fancy everywhere. And until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.